Hey guys, we recently went to Fort Benning, Georgia to watch my oldest son, Kevin's graduation from one station unit training. And I really wish I had would have gotten more footage while we were there. Um, unfortunately, I didn't, but here are some clips of the time that we were there. What you doing, Ass? Ass, what are you doing? Hi. It's gonna be Esther's first time on the plane. Are you excited, Ass? Yeah? Are you excited to fly on the plane? The graduation event is a two-day part. So the first day they turn blue, they get to get their cord, and then they get to spend the day with you. And then the next day they have a graduation and then they leave, most of them leave right after. If they're gonna stay on base, then they'll stay there. But we arrived the day before turning blue, went to explore the base a little bit, and then went out to dinner. Esther's had a really big day today. It was her first day on the plane. And then it was her first time going out to eat. And she had Mexican, she really liked it. Oh, shoo, 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 dirty. And now she's at Walmart for the first time. <laughs> big day, yes. Big day, yes. Big Ladies and gentlemen, not in uniform, please remove your headgear. Let us pray. Dear God, we have come today to celebrate these soldiers standing before us. These soldiers have given their all to be everything their country asks, everything their country needs. These soldiers have completed their training according to the Army standards and now stand ready to be numbered among America's finest. Bless them, Father. Protect them, Father. Cover their family under your wings. Give these soldiers the courage to continue their journey. Give these soldiers the strength to stay the course. Give these soldiers the desire to excel in everything they do now 
and in the future. This I pray in your most holy and precious name. Amen. We would like to take seven minutes for all other family members and loved ones to move forward and put on your soldier, soldiers' infantry blue cords and take pictures.
No, we have like an hour. Like, shouldn't leave later than 7.15. Took us 30 minutes to get there. What time do you want to get there, baby? So we'll leave by 7. Said, I really wish that I would have been like vlogging <laughs> that like the whole time that we were there and I just wasn't I was really trying to just be in the moment but basically after the turning blue the guys got to come with us for the whole day they had me back at their post or whatever it's called by 8 p.m. so the guys finished playing basketball we got some subway for them to eat and then they went back to post and then the next morning they had graduation which is typically typically held outside uh, on this beautiful field and stadium they were expecting severe thunderstorms all day so they had set it up for inside it was crazy because it was like 100 percent chance according to the weather for the day and it turned out to be a, a nice day but they had set it up for inside so we did it inside and the whole ceremony starts to finish was about 15 minutes. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the soldiers in the formation today who have chosen to serve their country as infantry soldiers. This review is the last official formation of the training cycle. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represented disciplined, motivated, and physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. These soldiers are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. Let us pray. Dear God, the Honorable Colin Powell said, there are no secrets to success. It is a result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Lord, I believe these soldiers and drill sergeants before me know exactly what that means. Over the last 22 weeks, Father, you have strengthened them to complete their training. From the moment they entered their units until this moment, oh God, you have protected them. I ask you now that you be with them, God, as they arrive at their various duty stations, ready to fight and win our nation's wars. Be with them as they continue to defend the freedom of our great nation and our way of life. This I pray in your most holy name oh God amen it is we thank you for attending today's graduation ceremony you may now join your soldier in the formation area in front of the museum have a safe journey home follow me Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, so he's got to be over here. He's got to be oh, that poor guy. You're doing good. I just thought you were giving my accessories to the headphones. What, hun? I thought you were giving my accessories to the headphones. Oh no, they're in there. Where do we park, love? Keith and I stayed an extra night after graduation just so we would have enough time to make it to the airport. And so we went to the National Infantry Museum and I cannot recommend this 
place enough. There is just so much yeah, that makes sense. history and make sure that you set enough time so you can actually see everything because there is a ton of stuff both inside and outside. And um, this is just outside the museum and then we will go on the walk of honor. The Lord is my shepherd. I will not be in need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Certainly, goodness and faithfulness will follow me all the days of my life, and my dwelling will be in the house of the Lord forever. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling caps. They have builded him an altar in the evening dews and damps. I can read his righteous sentence by the demon flaring lamps. His day is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His day is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never sound retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Our God is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me as he died to make men holy let us live to make men free while God is marching on glory glory hallelujah Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. While God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory. Why?